How many of you have been in this situation? You sign up for a major long distance event, half Ironman, full Ironman, whatever it is, and you train really hard and you get to the event and you think, I am on fire, I am the fittest I've ever been in my life, I'm ready to just kill it out there. And you get out there and everything's going pretty good until you hit the run and like mile five or six and it kind of starts to fade a little bit and then before you know it, you're walking on the run course. I feel really strongly that if you enter a long distance race and you're really fit and yet you fade at the end, that's a nutrition issue. That's probably not a fitness issue. And Goo Nutrition can help you with that. I recently uh, put Goo Nutrition to the test with one of my 70.3s and I set a four minute PR. So I'm a believer, I know that it works, and I'm here to talk to you about how I use their product to help me set a PR, so hopefully that can help you at your next race. I am not a dietitian or nutritionist, so everything should be taken with a grain of salt. This is just my personal experience plus the research that I have done. So with that, let's get into it. Yeah! So. Race day nutrition starts morning of. It starts three to four hours before your race starts. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Eric, my race starts at 7 a.m. Three to four hours before my race starts is stupid early. I am not gonna get up that early. And I know, that's a perfectly reasonable thought. But if you're looking at a half Ironman event or even a full Ironman event, chances are good you have worked really hard for that event. You have already made tremendous sacrifices to be at that event. So getting up, you know, just an hour earlier, it's it's the last sacrifice you're going to have to make and it's it's one of the most important that you're going to make. So my suggestion is just commit to it, be like I need to be up 3 to 4 hours before my race starts to get my nutrition in. So that's what I do. 3 to 4 hours before the race starts, I'm up. And the general recommendation uh, is 1,000, 700 to 1,000 calories, primarily most of that coming in that three to four hour window before the event starts. So for me, first thing when I get up, I have two Ensure, like little milkshake things. Each one of those has 220 calories in it. Bagel in the toaster, one of those really big bagels, one of those in the toaster with a little butter or jam on it. Between those three things, that puts me at between 700 to 800 calories. Then over the course of the, the morning, as I'm getting ready, as I'm driving to the race, as I'm at transition, I have a second of those really big bagels and I'm kind of just eating that as I feel like my stomach will handle. Then 15 minutes before the race starts, I have my first goo. Main takeaway, morning of three to four hours before the race starts, you have a big meal. So if we've done our job right over the morning, we start the swim with the fuel tanks totally full. Our energy systems are topped off. By eating most of our calories early in the morning, pretty much everything should have cleared our stomach by now. So we do the swim however long it's gonna take us, and then we get out onto the bike. To start off really simply, the idea is the more you can take in on the bike without feeling sick, the better. More specifically, 300 or more calories per hour while on the bike, 60 to 90 grams of carbohydrates per hour while on the bike. What does that look like? Well, it's a goo as soon as I get on the bike. So minute zero, I'm on the bike, start my Garmin, I'm taking that goo. Then I'm taking a goo every 30 minutes after that. So 30 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, and so on. I also have a bottle of uh, Goo Roctane drink mix, which is mixed to about 150 calories. So if I drink one of those each hour, which is always the goal, that puts me at 450 calories an hour. So as you can see, I've exceeded the, the limit, but I know my stomach can handle that. I also allow myself bonus goos. So that those are taken in the second hour outside of a normal schedule. If I'm feeling really good, if my stomach doesn't feel upset, I'll take bonus goos, and so that's just a way to get a little more in before I have to start the run. The bike is the most critical point. It's the time when our stomachs will be working the best for us. It's the biggest window of time, so the more we can capitalize on bike nutrition, the better our whole race is going to go. So I come off the bike, hopefully not feeling full, hopefully feeling like my stomach isn't full, everything that I've eaten has cleared. Now I don't take anything right away once I start running. The body is still adjusting to this like, okay, I've been biking, now I'm running, and my stomach feels a little weird. And I wait until 30 minutes in and I take my first goo. 
if you take a goo, it takes a little bit of time for that to, to take effect. So I take one at 30 minutes, that's going to start to hit my system at about 50 minutes. So at 50 minutes, I take another goo. And then that sets me up for, okay, within the last 20 minutes of my race, when I'm going to be feeling like I need the most energy, I'm going to have at least one, hopefully two, like goo, concentrate, sugary goodness just hitting my system all at once. And that should be a good surge of energy. So on the run, a goo every 30 minutes, looking to like put a goo maybe 30 minutes before I expect to finish. One last little tidbit about the run. This comes from Matt Dixon over at Purple Patch. In the back half of your run, Coke or Pepsi or some sort of soda. It's literally everything your body is craving. So if you think if you think about it as like a two loop run course, as soon as you hit that second loop, you should be calling for some sort of soda at every single aid station. And that's just going to give you that little extra boost to the finish line. So I hope this helps. I know it's a really complicated subject and there's so much information out there. Um, but this is what I have been doing. This is the approach that I took just uh, about two weeks ago that led me to a uh, big race PR. So hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer. Um, and hopefully we can have a good discussion and maybe learn something from each other uh, if you have different suggestions or different ideas. But until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.